guys, my name is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to attempt a kind of like a ribbon across my face, bow, Christmassy gift idea type look. Um, as you can see, I already have like my base on and I will link everything down below. This will be a voiceover video as well. Um, this is one of those looks you can do when your significant other asks you what you want to get them for Christmas and you're like, I'm the gift. You know, that's what I tell my husband. Anyway, so yes, I'll voice this over. I'll link all the products down below and let's just try this. Okay, so to start, I'm using this LA Girl lip liner. This is in the shade Reddish. It is kind of your standard pencil lip liner and I like this one in particular because it is really affordable and it feels great on your lips. It doesn't dry it out or anything. It's not super crumbly. It's easy to sharpen and so... I'm just outlining what I think I'm going to try to do with this bow. I would not consider myself a very creative person, so if I would have just started with face paint and just tried to freehand this on my face, it would be a literal wreck. So I keep looking down uh, because I, on my phone, have actually pulled up just like Googled pictures of bows just to make sure that I'm not totally off track. And I am going to go ahead and also add in the, you know, the stereotypical present ribbons that run across the present and down the center of the present. So I'm going to use this to go all the way across my face vertically and horizontally. And the bow is traditionally where the ribbons cross. So that's why the vertical lines are kind of off to the side. And so as I'm outlining, you know, the bottom of this ribbon, I'm starting to realize that once I start filling this in, it will start to overlap and get all muddled together and I probably won't be able to tell what's what. So for that reason, I'm actually taking a selfie of myself so I know like what I was trying to do. So for the face paint, I'm going to use the Mehron Paradise paint palette. This thing is so hard to open, but I love this formula so much. It is a water activated face paint, so you don't ever have to worry about it drying out or anything if you are not using it after a while. And my favorite thing about the face paint is because it's water-based, it doesn't break me out like a grease paint or an oil-based paint would do. I'm super sensitive to pimples, so I stick to water-based face paints for sure. And this stuff is really easy to wash off, which is good or bad because you need to be careful that, you know, it's not raining or you're not tearing up or anything and ruining that face paint. So I'm just taking a regular old paintbrush. This is one that I found at Michael's. You know, I'm not about to use like a, an expensive face brush or anything like that to play with face paint and just using some water to activate that face paint and painting in the outlines, trying to do my best to stay close to what I had initially drawn. And so as I'm working here around my eyes and trying to cover up my eyebrow too, I'm going to actually leave the section right next to my eye for later just because I don't want to irritate my eyes and make it watery and have it go everywhere and stuff like that. So... Next, I'm going to take the darker red that is in this palette and I'm going to take a thinner paintbrush and just start outlining the bow. And I will also be using this color to start to do some shading. Again, I'm like glancing down on my phone often just because a lot of the details that I had initially drawn are gone, uh, but kind of just doing my best to make this thing look a little bit realistic. <laughs> so. Like I said, I'm going to use this color for shading as well. This is probably the part that I'm most insecure about just because I don't feel like I have a good grasp on the highlights and shadows of like real life objects. It sounds kind of weird, but I have just like added in some wrinkles by the by the knot of the bow like you might normally see and then just doing my best to outline the bow part itself. I decided not to outline the vertical and horizontal lines because there's no way I'm going to be able to get them straight and I wanted the focus to be on the bow itself. So that's why I'm going to leave those ribbons. So here I'm just cleaning up some of the dark red because I felt like it was just a little bit too much. And I'm taking a Q-tip and I'm taking the white face paint now from this palette and I'm just going to use it to dab on the parts I want to highlight on this bow. And the white's really aggressive so I'm using the other end of the Q-tip to just sort of blend it out a little bit just so it looks more like a highlight instead of just like blatant white. And this stuff is really easy to blend as long as you just add a little bit of water. So I'm also going to go in and fill in close to my eye now and then use the Q-tips to try to clean up the lines. It is so hard to draw straight lines. I don't know how other like Instagram people do it. It's insane. But I'm just kind of going in and using that white face paint, doing my best to, you know, make this thing look a little realistic. 
but that like kind of wraps up the bow part so i'm just gonna finish up the rest of my look quick adding lashes from shamase this is carlene and it is a dollar 55 and it is amazing using the same lip pencil in the shade cafe this time i'm just gonna go in line my lips and actually just fill them in this is such a beautiful nude color on me and i like how comfortable it is it's so easy to use uh love it and next, I am going to take the City Color Cosmetics the Savory Lip, Gla Lip Glaze in Chile. And this is just like a darker pink, glittery, shimmery lip gloss kind of. And I'm just smearing that kind of over where I put the white to add to that highlight a little bit. And, you know, I'm also going to apply it over my lip color as well because a holiday look needs some shimmer. So last, I'm going to take this Huda Beauty gemstone obsessions palette and i'm going to take that light color and just dab it in my inner corners of my eyes and also the highlights of the bow so that is it for my tutorial i felt like i probably could have played up the ribbons a little bit more like outside of the bow but i really wanted the bow to be the focus and i kind of like that it's just like a subtle sheen not like super glittery and obnoxious but I don't play with face paint that often, and so, like I said, like the shading and stuff is still hard for me. So I'm still learning. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to try to get one more, like, holiday-themed one up before Christmas. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!